Hello Virgo. This is your mid-October 2018 reading, at least starting mid-October. It will not resonate with all Virgos. I may pick up some more energy from the last reading or it may be a totally different energy. We'll find out. But this is for Virgo starting mid-October 2018. Let's see what that is. Holding back. Four of Pentacles. Some of you may be holding back for some reason on a certain situation. Virgo, mid-October 2018 for the masses of Virgo. Hopefully your October is going well. You're getting your wishes and your hopes. Let's see if we get the same energy. Or we may get a totally different energy. I always like the different energies. It gives me more than one thing. Clarification on my life when I want it to. The moon. The moon. Everybody says uh, the moon card is about intuition. Things coming to light or secrets in itself. Sometimes depression. But the moon card, when I get it, I'm usually faced with something that is a little deceptive or a little dark or something not very clear at all. Or someone is basically hiding something sometimes. But we shall see. Now Virgo, in the past, we got the Queen of Discs. This could be your energy. As you know, it is an Earth energy. It also could be another uh, Virgo. It could be a Capricorn or a Taurus. They're in the upright. They're well established in the community. People like them. They're generally good natured, independent, at the same time nurturing. They're the person you can go to with your problems and they'll still be your friend. So if this is you in the past, it's a good card. It's a good sounding card. I'm going to clarify that in just a second. What else is going on just tells me stand up person. Queen of Disc in the upright. Why are you there for Virgo? Good card, like I said. Looking for things to come in in the past. Positive things and negative things leave. Letting things that ended in the past go and moving forward. Looking for better, better tidings today. Better things that come in. Obstacle. Money. Usually is. Ten of coin is an obstacle. It's in reverse. Maybe you don't have enough funding for what you want in life. Maybe you'd be spending too much too. And money's flowing out of your hands. But we shall see. It's different for everybody. Ten of coin. Why are you there? In reverse as the obstacle for Virgo. And it is an obstacle. You desire more money maybe, more finances, or the things you want in life that kind of cost. Because that's the lust card. Because you didn't have any really good offers, sounding offers, passionate offers, the things you want in life, like I said. Current environment or the near future is right here. Five of Wands in reverse. It's called the Strike card, but I don't know why it's in reverse yet. i got to find out whether you're staying in Strike or coming out of it. Why are you there? Five of Wands in reverse in the near future for Virgo. Oops. That's how it wants to come out. Not willing to fight, not willing to argue with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be an air element or someone taking on that energy. They could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Can I get another card? This tells me maybe you're not wanting to battle with this person. Maybe they're not wanting to battle with you. Maybe they'll possibly make you a love offer. Or a kind offer. Or offer a friendship. A starting of a friendship. Or maybe you're just wanting to be around people. And this person may be there that offers you positivity and not argue, and not being argumentative. Because you're trying to gain stability. You want stability. And the only obstacle right now you're having so far is affording the things you really want in life. Or maybe overspending for some of you. What is coming towards you? The world. The world. 
ending something and beginning something positive and new. The world is your oyster. It's coming towards you. The universe is opening up to you. The universe, why are you there? Why are you coming towards Virgo? It's a good card. Because you are tired. The universe, I see you don't, you're tired of non-committal type situations. But you're letting things go. Something is coming towards you. It's letting things go and opening a whole new world. It is attached to this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is known to be someone who comes in and out of people's lives and they don't commit. It's in the reverse. It could have to do with a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be that this person promises you the world or the universe is opening up things to you because you always had things that were non-committal that didn't pan out. Let me get another card for sure. Find out what's going on. This doesn't tell me much, except for it's a beautiful universe card. The universe, when it comes towards you and are opening up these things, it could be that you're getting the karma you deserve because you had something possibly that didn't pan out with this Knight of Wands and they may be coming towards you with abrupt speech. But what the Universe card does is allows you to end these negative non-committal type situations and open to more positive things that you want. Let me get another card. Because these are the Y cards. This is what you're getting, but this is why you're getting. Because you always had negative situations before, and the universe is giving you just rewards for what you had to deal with in the past for some of you. Can I get another card for the universe card, the knight of wands, and the communications card, which is also like the eight of wands. A lot of fire energy here. Another card for the universe. I need another why. The moon card. Like I said, it's like I see you putting away the negative and open up positive things new because things weren't always on the up and up. Communications were off and there was always non-committal. So I believe you're going to get some good karma coming your way with the universe because you had such negative situations that occurred in your life. It also could be like I said, you're putting away certain situations and opening a whole new world because of all these negative people may be coming towards you also. And you see it for what it is. And you turn on that intuition and decide you're not going to deal with that and go for what the universe has to offer. Now the outcome, you're going to be worried you're going to be worried or somebody else is going to be worried, but I, got, I need more information. Five of Pentacles. Why are, why is Virgo worried? It doesn't surprise me. They do worry somewhat. Five of Pentacles. Why are you there? The universe, you're worried about not getting what you want. You feel like this is just too good to be true. The world is your oyster, okay? Accept it. Stop worrying. Stop feeling left out and abandoned because you're worried that the universe won't give you what you want, even though it's coming towards you. Can I get another card? Should I put in the title, Virgo is a worry war? No. But just realize, don't let negativity affect what is coming towards you. Manifest what you want. Keep away those worries. Can I get another card? Because that you can control. The universe is a major arcana. Is, is very likely going to happen with a lot of you. But the five of pentacles doesn't have to be. It's something you can control in your life. So can I get another card? The five of pentacles and the universe card. Yeah, it's like you kind of lost a little bit of a drive there. You're not exactly 
100% confident in your abilities and you may feel like you don't have a lot of fight left in you, but you do. You feel like I've heard this and done this before and it never worked out. So I'm just giving up with the Five of Swords in reverse, not fighting for it anymore, feeling defeated and staying in defeat, but you don't have to. Those are feelings mental energy that doesn't have to be let that go give me another card one more card you're gonna let this go because virgo is just not having a lot of confidence some of you you're not having confidence in this universe willing to manifest certain situation for you you need to let that go one more card Because things that were offered to you were never the way you liked. Oh, Virgo, you got to get out of that mindset because you got Eight of Pentacles, some kind of work situation coming in, something you're going to be working on very hard, but you're going to have to let go of that worry. Or is this going to trap you and make you feel trapped? And you don't want that. You're better than that. Because I see that you got your crown on in the past position. You definitely had it on, and you're going to have to accept. The fact that the universe wants to open a door for you and stop worrying, stop being left out in the cold, stop being, oh, same old, same old, nothing's ever going to change. I never got anything I liked to offer before. So if you want this universe, open the door. Otherwise, you're just going to stay worried. Like I said, you got the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to have to work on it. It's the ending energy. Work on manifesting what you want in life and you will get it. I'll talk to you later, Virgo, probably before November for November's readings. See you later. Bye.